Do you remember the Red Runner colony I set up a year ago? Well this is how it looks now. And this didn't happen overnight. It took over 6 months for my colony to get going like this. So if you want to start your colony today, you have to be patient. I have learned a lot since I set up my Red Runner colony a year ago. And I feel confident giving you some tips and tricks how you can set up your Red Runner colony today. In this video I will upgrade my colony to a new enclosure. And I will show you how you set up a Red Runner colony 2.0. To set up a Red Runner colony you are going to need a bit. You need a heat gun, or whatever you call this. You also need some type of insect net. You also need a hot glue gun to attach the insect net to the enclosure. Inside the enclosure you are going to need egg boxes, and you are going to need a water dish. It is super important that your red burning colony has good ventilation. That's where we are going to use the heat gun, and we are going to cut out a hole in the lid just like this. Since the plastic is melting, I would advise you to use gloves and other proper protection. I would also suggest you to use a fan to stop the smoke from going up in your face. Once the hole is cut out, I will use the insect net. I know the red runners can't climb the size of the bin, but applying this extra protection, I will sleep much better at night. And before I show you the next step, it's time for the comment shout out of this video. And for this video's comment shout out, we're gonna pick Kalina that wrote, name him Henry. Great video by the way. And thank you so much for that comment. And that is obviously for my new surprise pet that I got a few weeks ago. And if you wanna get your comment shouted out in the next video, make sure to leave a comment and you might end up right here. Now the ventilation is done and it's time to me to set up the enclosure. And to set up the enclosure I'm using these egg boxes and these are perfect for climbing spaces for the roaches and as you can see they fit perfect into this bin. And it took me a while to find a bin where the egg boxes actually fit perfectly. They're not too close to the surface right here where the roaches would be able to jump out. So that is a good tip for you that you find a box where the egg boxes or wherever you use fit perfectly. And then I will just stack the egg boxes like this in the enclosure. I usually use four of these, but I'm not going to put in the fourth one just yet. I'm going to use that for a little trick I'm doing later in this video. So make sure to stay for that so you can know what I'm going to use this for. The last thing I'm adding into the enclosure is just a little food dish. I'm going to place that right here. And as you can see, I do not use any water balls or water crystals or anything like that. And I never actually use water crystals to any setup. I just feel like when they dry up, they are just sitting in the enclosure, making the enclosure even more messy. I mean, the roaches themselves are messy enough. I don't need to put even more mess in there. So instead of using water crystals, I provide the roaches with fresh, fresh veggies, if not every day, every other day. And I've been doing that for over a year now. So they're doing fine, they're multiplying, and for me, that is working perfectly. But I'm always open for new opinions, so make sure to leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about water crystals and you might change my mind. And then I also provide some dry food for the roaches and for that I'm using cat food. I just grab a bowl like this and then pour it in to the side. And for that I'm not really using a food dish because the roaches tend to move them out of there anyways. So I'm just pouring it in in one corner and that has also been working. So, but again, if you have other tips, let me know in the comments. So that's all the food I'm giving my roaches cat food as dry food and veggies every day or every other day and they will get all the moisture they need from the veggies. So that is all I do for the food. Before I show you some tips and tricks how you can move your old colony into your new colony, I will take a minute to ask you guys to like this video. That is obviously if you like the video. And if you want to support this channel even more than just giving that like, you can also become a member of this channel for only $1 a month and that dollar will help tremendously for this channel because all the revenue will go straight back into the channel whether it be me buying a new animal, supplies or terrarium it goes straight back to the channel so if you want to join the exotic squad press the join button below this video and YouTube will show you further and now it's time for the next step and that is moving the colony and if you're starting your colony from scratch you don't need to watch this segment right here but every time I clean my colony I put them into a new bin so there still might be some tricks and tips here where you can watch and learn something for when you're gonna clean it. And as you can see, I brought out my old colony and it's literally a mess. It's time for a rehouse, it's time for cleaning, and it's overdue. As you can see, I'm using this protected bin right here. So if the red runners get out, they will run out into this. And then I also have this where I will put the old egg box cartons. So if there are some roaches still left on them, they will be in this bin. So what I do is that I just take one of these like this, move it over like this. They usually don't or never really jump off. And then you just hit it off like this to the new box and make sure to get out of them out of here so you don't have to hit a little harder and then always make sure to look at the piece so there's still none left and then I just kind of rip it off like this so I can put it into the box I'm sure you can't see this but I'm gonna put it right there to the little box I showed you earlier and now I'm just gonna continue these steps and I'm gonna do a time lapse so it goes faster so I'll see you guys soon
Alright, so most of the bread runners have now moved into the new enclosure, but there's still some here. And now I will show you why I didn't put this into the new enclosure. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this right in here, just lay it down like this, and we're gonna wait a few minutes. And then you just take it out just like this, and you should have some roaches on there, and then you slap it out like this. And this process you're gonna continue until you get all the roaches in here. And you might have to leave this in there for a while so you actually get all the eggs out of here or the newborn babies once they hatch. So make sure to keep an eye on that. And once that is done, you just put this new egg box in like this without the roaches. And if you're curious how I set up my old Red Runner colony, the video is right here. So go check that out if you want to. It's a bit different than this setup, so you might learn a thing or two. So go check that out if you want to. Leave a like to this video if you want to. And I will see you in the next video.